percentage of THSTI is you are um, associated with many other institution in the NCR region like NII National Institute of Immunology, ICGB in Delhi. Then you have uh, All India All India Institute of Medical Sciences, and then many other institutions in the NCR capital region. And in fact, in the THSTI campus, it's called National Bioscience Cluster. So this currently we have two institutions in the same campus. One is the THSTI, is a research institute, and the other one is the Regional Center for Biotechnology, which is again the research institute, but its mandate is more towards like uh, uh, academic, you know. So it's kind of you know you can compare the RCV with the uh, ICERs right now, ICERs or IIT. So that kind of settings RCVs. Nonetheless, these two institution, uh, you know, makes this whole cluster is called THSTI, and in THSTI, uh, we have four different programs as you can see on the screen. One is the infection and immunity. Uh, we try to understand the pathogenesis of you know bacterial pathogenesis, and particularly we are taking an example of Mycobacterium to do this kind of work, and then we have. Microbiome, what Dr. Bhavitos does actually does to identify a correlation of microbiota with the disease settings and identifying uh, some sort of resistance genes in the microbiome. Uh, then we have in the infection immunology, we have immunology program which talks about fundamentals of immunology where we try to understand the role of immune system in various diseases, particularly in the cancer, autoimmune diseases, as well as infection settings. And then we have a vaccine program in the infection and immunity, uh, which they try to understand about the pathogens and try to understand the new targets which can be used for the de vaccine development. Then we have a program called maternal and child health. This is a more towards clinical uh, program. So we have more clinician scientists and this is kind of combination of basic and clinician scientists. They talk to each other and they really resolve one of the most un, you know, outstanding questions. And in this case, currently, we are trying to understand, uh, the, understand the disease mechanism, adverse pregnancy outcome and intervention for early life morbidity. So it's like more clinical settings. And uh, in this program, people like who, are, who has done MBBS or other clinical degrees are actually more fits for, for, for this program. Then we have uh, non-communicable disease, uh, which primarily our focus is NAFL, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, as well as we also do some sort of autoimmune diseases under non-communicable disease settings. And then we have multidisciplinary cl clinical translational research. Uh, the idea of this, the whole program is to understand to have a diagnostic, a cheap diagnostic, and this is kind of low hanging fruits uh, where uh, you develop a new kit or new ELISA based detection or antibody based detection kit. And therefore you can go very quickly to the uh, uh, problems what we face. And, and this is what we have done in COVID-19 pandemic uh, using these programs. Then these programs are supported by, you know, four of these pillars, what you can see on the screen. Uh, BioSA and BSL3 lab. So we have one of the big BSL3 lab where uh, BSL3 pathogens like Mycobacterium, COVID-19, and many other viral pathogens can be used in these in this facility to understand the disease biology as well as other for therapeutic purposes. In in addition to this, we have big biorepository where bio human samples are being collected for various disease condition, and particularly we have done very recently in COVID-19 this biorepository actually become very handy to us. And we collected various samples, not only saliva, but urine and other samples from this COVID-19 individuals. And we provided uh, not only to the national partners, but to international partners to understand the virus biology, as well as understanding the, you know, how to use uh, these samples for diagnostic purpose. Then we have data centers, we collect all big data and we store it. And then we have small animal facilities which actually house 
uh, knockout and transgenic and various different kind of mice which is required for you know doing fundamental research uh, uh, and this is one of the big facility in the north india region and i'm i i am proud to say that this facility can cater almost 80000 mice in full capacity so this is like huge facility then we have this clinical development service agency which is you can say academic cro so the the role of this let's say if somebody identify some new targets or some new thing and if you want to do a clinical trials both in house scientist or if somebody from outside want to do clinical trial so clinical develop development agency has recognized site all over india and they have a network of you know doctors and they are they can conduct a clinical trial for the discovery what you do uh this is briefly i will quickly tell this is the program what uh, you know maternal and child health us and one of the very ambitious program uh, under this is uh, you know understand the uh, pregnancy outcome so let's say we have huge problem in in, in india uh, you know uh, preterm uh, birth so this program is enrolled almost 8000 women uh, participant uh, you know pregnant women and lots of data has been collected you know different samples has been collected even dr bhavatosh das is involved in, in this program to understand the microbiome signature of preterm uh, birth delivery uh, in 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 vaginal and other secretions to identify the signature and not only doing the microbiome but is trying to understand using metabolomics and proteomics to understand why and what are the different factors contribute to this uh, uh, you know this preterm pregnancy uh so you know lot of participant in this program and this program is going in full flash so if anybody who are actually clinician and has interest in this program they can very welcome can write us and you know uh, we will be kind of very happy to provide more information about this program as well as about the possibilities for for you know uh, recruitment under this program and then we have this early life morbidity uh, this is another program under the you know uh, maternal and child health this is again clinical program where they try to understand what are the factors which lead to the early uh, life morbidity and you know some of this clinical trials has been done this you know randomized clinical trials in two country seven different site where they try to understand the role of zinc and then they also did this effect efficacy of immediate continuous kangaroo mother care you know uh, so this is also well accepted and published in uh, NEJM where you know uh, baby born is taken care as a kangaroo care is actually having more uh, you know uh, you know kind of better survival than than the than than the other one so these are the all clinical program and they are they published uh, pretty well in this and then we have a, a program on the tuberculosis research so we have four five faculty who contribute to this tuberculosis research and one is the drug de- resistance you know one of the major problem in the tuberculosis then you have a treatment duration the tissue distribution uh, so so this program is divided right now currently in three different categories uh, disease biology understanding uh, therapeutics and the vaccine so if, if somebody who is actually working on the uh, tuberculosis or not necessarily working on the tuberculosis but they have some idea or new tools to contribute to this program uh will be very welcome you know under this program and can be you know discussed uh, about you know future possibilities under this and then we have you know tb is one of the problem in india and and the government's mandate is to end tb by 2025 so there is a lot of possibilities there's a lot of research collaboration within the thsti and outside of the thsti um and then uh, there's a lot of funding is government is putting government is putting in this program uh, to end tb by 2025 we also have influenza research this is again under infection immunology uh, where we try to evaluate the next generation of influenza vaccine and this vaccine we have three different major grant from the indo european funding agencies and flu indigo and incentive and these grants are supported by indo european partnership and these are the big grant 
where we try to evaluate the next generation of the influenza vaccine so these grants and this program is help you to not only understand the biology of influenza but also to design a new next generation vaccine which can try in future uh, to control all emerging you know viruses which can cause pandemic or endemic so this is the microbiome program or microbiota what dr das actually actually contributing to it primarily and he's try to understand the microbiome of the breast milk the vaginal microbiota in in uh, you know uh, pre term pregnant pregnancy the stomach microbiota the gut microbiota in inflammatory bowel disease and he has you know compare the uh, microbiota from indian subjects healthy subjects as well as he compared with the denmark as well as the japanese you know uh, uh, individuals and try to identify the signature of these microbiota uh, specific to the ethnicity as well as you know based on the food habits so this is and in addition to this he try to understand how indian microbiota is contains some of the drug resistant genes which can be in future could be potentially threaten to our you know uh, uh, you know public uh, thing in immunology program what we focusing on is infectious and non infectious diseases we try to understand the role of uh, particularly t helper cells in understand the fundamentally uh, how these t cells contributing to the chronic inflammation in 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 diseases such as you know um, inflammatory bowel disease multiple sclerosis psoriasis and various other things uh this is i briefly mentioned you in the beginning that uh, non infectious disease or this is called uh, non alcoholic fatty 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 liver disease is one of the major major problem around the world and thsti is really contributing to understand uh the disease biology what happens uh, you know during uh, you know whether it's a food whether it's your lifestyle or what what are the different cues actually that contribute to the uh, non fatty uh, liver disease but at the same time uh, identifying the new drug molecule and the targets for the, this disease is the major focus of of this program and this is again Uh, contributed by different funding agency and we have developed animal models under under this program uh, multiple multidisciplinary clinical translational research is a major focus is pocp uh, for dengue uh, you know and other uh, viral thing multiplex pcr for sk pathogens dna aptamer based assay for indian trade venom Uh, so this is primarily focusing on developing new diagnostic which is not really available so far or maybe not sensitive enough uh, you know there are certain uh, diagnostic which are available as per the who but you know they are not as sensitive as we it should be so therefore we have identified some more sensitive method by which we can diagnose certain uh, infectious diseases and i briefly mentioned about you know the uh cdsa is a kind of uh, academic cro which is can help in doing clinical trials so this is another area where people can identify if they are kind of non researcher but you know they are more into uh, you know regulatory mechanism and there is other aspect of the research they can imply, apply uh, to to this program so i think uh, and regarding the facilities we have animal facilities which can which can harp which have like different mouse lines and this is very very important for contributing to different program we have mutant mice and different kind of animals this is a bio repository where different specimen can be you know stored and these again contribute back to the basic as well as at, uh, applied research what thst actually uh, uh, is doing and bio repository has contributed significantly during covid-19 pandemic so in terms of if anybody is actually uh, con- conducting a research they would like to uh, have certain facilities uh, and in thst we have huge infrastructure I, as i mentioned in the beginning so we call it navratna of thst i we have biosafety bsl3 facility we have ferret ferret facility for 
you know take, taking the vaccine like you know covid 19 as well as you know in venge vaccine to the next level after mouse you know uh, to the ferret which is a natural uh, uh, model for the for these disease we have ngs computational bio biology facility we have immunology core facility which can help you know we have very high end equipment like fax analyst analyzer sorter and anything you can imagine at par at the you know uh, european and the western country we have bio repository facility we have bio assay lab and this bio assay lab is actually one of the one of the its own kind of lab in india where we have these assay which is developed in thsti and accredited uh, assays by nabl accreditation we have data management center we have proteomics and metabolomics facility as well and obviously on top of it a small animal facility uh, we have we breed these different knockout transgenic mice as per the requirement of thsti and this is also at the mandate if somebody like to do nfld we have mice somebody like to do infectious we have all those different kind of strains at thsti we have uh, uh, you know germ plus germ plus plus cryopreservation laboratory where we can also store these animals embryo cry cryopreservation as well as sperm cryopreservation and if somebody bringing those animals from outside if somebody has developed those animal in us or europe they can also bring those embryo or animals in in frozen state and we can revive them uh, in thsti we have the you know in histopathology lab where we can do our in house histopathological analysis and we have different kind of monitoring system so if somebody like to do cancer research or any inflammatory research we have imaging system and we have a uh, c clamp where you can know, we can monitor every possible single uh, determinant of of mice which can contribute to the uh, disease a huge vsl3 facility uh, perhaps one of the biggest in the north india where we can do uh, separately virus as well as uh, uh, you know bacterial research we have you know first in india the the ferret facility where we can do influenza as well as other you know viruses uh, for which uh, ferret is a natural host and then we have very high resolution of you know mass spectrometry for proteomics we have gscms you know uh, you know tried off and then we have other you know very high equipment and and genomics facility is actually being taken care by dr das uh we have vaccine development platform where you know thsti is trying to develop novel highly immunogenic vaccine and we uh, are now venturing in in uh, you know sapi funded project uh, where we trying to develop a vaccine called novel beta pan beta coronavirus vaccine uh we we plan to you know have more and more facilities so that you know because biology and research is ever ending field so we are keep involving lot of lot of new instruments in in thsti and one of the interesting thing what we starting maybe in 10 15 days is master program for clinical research uh, where these clinical student can be taught for two years for different you know uh, things and they can be you know have this master degree this is first kind of in india in collaboration with uk and oxford so the new facilities which we plan to develop and which will be also very very important for the new recruitment uh, because that's how when you develop a facility if you you try to focus and identify some people in those particular areas so obviously our focus is remain on the vaccine and infectious disease then we are also developing its mrc this medical research center where more clinical staff may be required uh, in future Uh, to run this hospital and this is kind of research based hospital obviously we will have new research building and uh, next generation sequencing so i think with in nut cells what i told you overall about the hsti and uh, in in past 10 year thsti has really contributed significantly in the horizon of translational research and which you can see Uh, which is very much evident by based on the publication and our contribution to the covid-19 pandemic in fact any vaccine what you imagine in india is somewhere is tested in thsti either preclinically or clinically so that's our strength and i'm very happy uh, to answer any questions